Now the present value of an annuity formula is the one we've just looked at. That's this formula that P is equal to the recurring payment multiplied by this bracket to 1 minus I uh, this bracket 1 plus I to the power negative N. That's where the difference comes in. Okay, one of the differences come in and in this formula, this is the formula that banks use in order to calculate how much or how large a loan are they willing to give you. Or if they give you a certain amount, let's say 100,000, how much must you pay back in termly installments to finish that within a certain time period. So let's just quickly go and have a look at the reasoning behind all of this. Okay. There's two ways to look at this reasoning. One way is to see, well, this is the present value. When you take out a loan, you want the money right now. You don't want the money in 20 years time. So you are not looking for the future value when you take out a loan. You are looking for the present value when you take out a loan. And you want to pay back in equal installments, for example. Okay, so there's our equal installments. And if I were to discount this installments, in other words, asking the bank, how much is this money worth to you right now? And that amount, how much is that amount worth to you right now? And that amount? And we do this with every amount. When we add up all of these amounts that I am promising to pay back over a certain time period, then that total amount will give me the amount that the bank will lend me at this time period. Okay, another way of looking at it is to say, okay, let me assume I am taking amount, I am borrowing an amount from the bank and I'm going to pay all of it back at once here. So how much will that be? Well, it will be this P 1 plus i to the power of n. So in other words, just taking the future value of this present value, that's how much I must pay back. So now I decide, okay, where am I going to get all of that money all, of, all at once from? That's going to be impossible, okay, especially if it's a large amount. So what I'll do is that when I have to pay it back, I will use my savings. So I'm going to let this be my savings. And I'm going to save up every month. And how much will that savings be worth in the end? And then the question is that my savings, the future value of my savings, must be equal to the future value of my loan. And the future value of the savings will be x1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 over i because it's a normal annuity and I'm working out the future value of the annuity and the future value of the loan will now be how much must I pay back all at once right at the end well it will be the present value of the loan multiplied by 1 plus i to the power of n I have compounded the present value and now if I want to um, solve for P in this equation, I just divide both sides with a 1 plus I to the power of N. But to divide with that is the same as to multiply with 1 plus I to the power of negative N. And if I do that on both sides, okay, 1 plus i to the power negative n, then you'll see on this side is exactly the way I found my formula for the present value of an annuity. Okay, so there's a bunch of ways to look at it. It simply boils down to this, that the amount borrowed from the bank is the present value of an annuity. Okay, if that is clear then go on to the next video because there I'm going to do one example. See you then.